What are the obstacles to grace in your life? Let's talk about that. Hi, Bridget Ayer here with All About the Grace and and grace, well heck, what is grace? And what are the obstacles to getting grace? Um, well, that's what we're gonna talk about. Um, grace, well what is grace? Grace is basically a free gift from God which really brings us peace, joy, and happiness in this life, but it also gives us eternal life. So God's grace is really the free gift of salvation, but it also gives us peace, joy, happiness, uh, fulfillment, um, and eternal life. So everybody who wouldn't want grace, right? So what are some of the obstacles to grace? Um, not everybody is getting the grace that God wants them to get. So I always wonder, well, what, what are the obstacles to grace? I actually, um, uh, Several years ago, I, when I was a youth minister at a parish, we did a whole uh, retreat on grace, and we did one activity, and we did like a collage, and we all got magazines and cut out pictures of things that, that were um, obstacles to grace, things that uh, we saw in the magazine, and we, we each did like a little collage of what are our obstacles to grace. But the three um, obstacles obstacles to grace that uh, I talk to people about and I think are the most common are this. Okay, the first obstacle to grace is technology, our phones, um, all of our devices. You know, we're more connected now than we ever have been, but at the same time, um, we're also disconnected and it can really um, disconnect or short circuit our relationship with God and with our friends. Um, so technology can really be an obstacle to grace because it keeps us distracted and it keeps things noisy so that we can't really hear God. So number one is technology. The second obstacle to grace, I believe is, and this is one category though, there are two different things, hurt and unforgiveness. So when someone hurts us, um, obviously that, you know, we become broken or whatever with that, but hurt and unforgiveness, when we get hurt, when we don't forgive, um, we end up causing that to be an obstacle for us to um, really receive love from God, uh, receive love from others. So unforgiveness is really a huge hurdle. And it's not to say that someone that has hurt us, we just need to just, you know, forgive and forget because, you know, forgiving other someone else or a situation is, is kind of a process. But by not forgiving that person, you really hurt yourself more than you really hurt that person. So, um, so hurt and unforgiveness, that's another really big area that can be an obstacle to receiving God's grace. And then the third also very big category, which is an obstacle to receiving God's grace is fear. And that could be fear of a lot of things, but it could be fear of, well, if I open up to God, what will happen with my life? You know, will people think I'm nuts? Um, you know, what's going to happen? Um, maybe the fear of the unknown. You know, what will people think? Um, and just the fear of really letting go and letting God. And so those are the three areas. Um, and each of those areas I'm going to do a video on, um, a, a more extensive video, but the three main obstacles to grace that I have observed and experienced in my own life are one, technology, two, hurt and unforgiveness, and three is fear. And God really wants us to have His love. He wants us to have His peace, not just now, 
but eternally so that we can be with him forever in heaven. So um, think about these things. There might be other areas in your life that are, per, are um, getting in the way of you growing in your faith with God. So think about those. I'm guessing one of these three are on that list. But um, if you have a comment or thought about uh, maybe ways that you've gotten through these issues or if you have other obstacles to grace that you want to talk about and share about, um, be happy to uh, get any questions or comments on this topic. Um, otherwise, uh, click subscribe and um, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.